Alright then, let's continue with Scarlet Widow Wraps the Arcade Mode. You know, I might just use this series to talk about whatever thoughts I have, along with maybe talk about the actual game itself. Yeah, I'm sure some people use certain situations, like say a massive bonus dungeon of randomness and an RPG like the Ancient Cave and Luffy 2 or whatever. They're not the ancient. Basically, randomly generated dungeon or some other situation to just, well, talk about whatever. Rather than talk about the game, because really, sometimes you have much to say. Other than the fact that, well, I don't like having to face against, off against Marissa again, considering she's the one who defeated me last time. Nah. What I know of cards to use against her which ones not to. Like for example, I'm not gonna use any card that requires me getting close to her. Because I'm just gonna miss anyway. Okay. One thing I would like to bring up is the subject of interest and how much range you can have in them. Like for example, a friend I talked about how I mainly play RPGs from Japan and can't really fit Western RPGs into my budget. The closest I come to playing Western RPGs would be Japanese RPGs that fall Western ideals. The thing I want to bring up about that is that here's the thing. You can only play so many games or buy so many products. So you have a choice of narrowing your interests and just juggling from one category or there are multiple categories. Heck, I sometimes wonder how much I can really broaden my interests in general. I mean, yeah, I play platform games, I play RPGs and so on, but I was playing them when I was a child. So I've been set in my ways for a while. Yeah, I branched out in terms of the RPGs I play. I play more than just Square Enix games now, or I'm more than just Squaresoft games. But it, that's not the same as branching out to American RPGs, Korean RPGs, Martian RPGs, and so forth. There's a huge difference. The first one that uses this bear is the excuse to talk about how Square violated them gets maxed. I mean, honestly, one problem with love is it turns to hate pretty easily. A single mistake pisses people off. No wonder they say the opposite of love is not hate but apathy, because really, hate and love are two sides of the same coin. All I know is that I could expand my interest and stuff, but my main thought whenever I want to do that is I'm adding yet another category of stuff to consider again. Or I just suppose some people use the strategy of just buying stuff from any category and not worrying about how many of they have of each. But let's just say this much. When I'm deciding between 15 different RPGs from Japan to get, I don't really feel like trying to out a dozen different Western RPGs. Besides, when you have a series like Skyrim, no, the Oblivion series, 
whatever you call it. And I hear from people that the um, PS3 versions tend to be as glitchy as heck. I don't have a 360 and I don't really care to see if my PC is strong enough to handle such RPG. I have to beg a question. Is the PS3 really that hard is the PS3 really that hard to program on for Bethesda? Or is Bethesda basically hate the PS3? Either way, you make it so my main option to play your games is useless. Yeah. That doesn't give you much reason to play them. Well, next time we'll take on two more opponents of Sakuya. So, bye for now.